My name is Richard Carranza. I'm your superintendent, and I couldn't be prouder of all of you for being here. So I'm going to have a few words to say to you in just a little bit. But before that, we have some very, very special people that are here today who have invested a lot of time for us to have this opportunity to share this together. Now I'm going to ask a couple of requests from you. First and foremost, if you have a cell phone, turn it off or put it on vibrate. Okay? Turn it off or put it on vibrate. Second thing I'm going to ask, I know how much fun it is to get on a bus and leave school and go somewhere else and you're sitting next to your friends. But this is where I'm going to get serious on you. We're coming together today and I said we're going to experience something together today. I mean that very seriously. We're going to experience a movie today that I think is going to touch each and every one of you. So as we prepare for what we're going to experience today, I'm going to ask you to please be very respectful of what you're about to experience. And I want you to be very reflective. I want you to think about it. What does this have to do with me? How does this affect me and the people that I know and have worked with, or I have studied with, or I have grown up with? You have lots of adults in the room here today. And if you feel like you need to talk to someone or you need to step out, I want you to be sure you contact that adult and you do what you need to do. But this is going to be an experience, folks, that is going to change all of our lives today. So I want us to experience it with that kind of respect and that kind of reverence. So I really appreciate your cooperation. Like I said, I couldn't be more proud of all of you. So with that, I want to introduce you to the United States Attorney, uh, who is Melinda Haig, who is going to say some words for you. Thank you. You guys really are happy to be out of school. So nice to see all of you. As Richard said, good morning, everybody. Uh, as Richard said, I'm, my name is Melinda Haig. I'm the United States Attorney here for the Northern District of California, which means I'm the United States Attorney from the Oregon border to Monterey, and certainly including San Francisco. Our office is just a couple of blocks away here in San Francisco. So we love it here. I was... Many of you probably don't know who the, what the United States Attorney is or what they do or anything like that, but uh, I was nominated by President Obama to be the United States Attorney here two years ago. And, yeah, my boss. My boss, and I am honored to represent him, the President, the Administration, and the Department of Justice here in the Northern District of California and in San Francisco, and on, in, that, uh, in that capacity to welcome you here today to see this, this movie screening. You are, there are 800 San Francisco public high school students here today. So thank you for being here. It's really amazing, really amazing. There are, there are 2,400 of your classmates sitting in movie theaters around this city as we speak. All of you are watching this film this morning together. So we really appreciate it. You, the, the, we laid down a challenge to Oakland. Oakland has now pledged to screen this film for 14,000 kids between now and October 4th. And just this morning, we heard from San Mateo County, they don't want to be outshone by San Francisco and Oakland, so they're now pledging to show this film to the kids in San Mateo County. So you're really part of a movement. You've really started a movement in the Bay Area, and so we really appreciate you doing that and being here today with us to see this very, very special film. As the, as the United States Attorney here, I meet with community groups and leaders all over the Bay Area, all over Northern California, as I said, from the Oregon border to Monterey. I meet with Sikh Americans, certainly in the wake of the shootings in Wisconsin. I meet with Arab Muslim people and organizations. I meet with LGBTQ people and organizations. I meet with all kinds of different people. And we talk about all kinds of issues. We talk about fraud, we talk about identity theft, we talk about hate crimes, we talk about civil rights issues. 
And the, but the one thing that absolutely everybody talks about, the one thing that they care the most about, the one thing that seems to cause the most worry and the most concern and the most pain for everybody, anybody, in, Nor in Northern California and in the Bay Area is the issue of bullying. It's, it's a heartbreaking thing. The, the level of bullying, the, 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 the levels of bullying in our community, children doing it to other children, is, it's just all too common. It's completely heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to children. It's heartbreaking to their parents and their families. It's heartbreaking to teachers. It's heartbreaking to everybody. It's the one thing that has come up in almost every conversation that I've had with people. And that's what led us here today, what led us to want to try to do something, to try to, to spread the word, to spread the message, and to bring people on board um, with, with, with anti-bullying. And that's what you're a part of here today. So we do really appreciate you coming. Um, what we're starting here today, as Richard said, is with a screening of a documentary film called Bully by the director Lee Hirsch. Uh, the director, Mr. Hirsch, is here with us today. We're very, very grateful. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> You are, you're going to be hearing from Mr. Hirsch after the film. We couldn't be more grateful for him bringing, to him for bringing the film to San Francisco, for bringing the film to the Bay Area, for making the film and giving voice to this issue. Uh, we really appreciate it. And again, a round of applause for Mr. Hirsch and what he's done. As Richard said, it's, all, it, it's, it's fun to be out of school. My, I have two... I have two freshmen in public high school in the Bay Area. I know what the, how they'd be reacting if they were out of school today. It is very fun. This film is very powerful. I watched it on Sunday. It can be devastating, uh, but it's very, very important. It has an unbelievably important message. After the film, there, there's going to be a brief discussion uh, with ABC7 News anchor Cheryl Jennings, who I'm sure you'll, re you'll recognize from television. Uh, yes. Uh, with Mr. Hirsch, with Commander John Loftus from the San Francisco Police Department, and with Richard Carranza, your very own superintendent of schools. So that, that's what will happen after the film. And now I want to introduce a very special person to the city and county of San Francisco, the mayor of the city and council of San Francisco. Our very... Our very popular mayor of the city in San Francisco, Ed Lee. As you, absolutely. As you know, Mayor Lee has dedicated his entire professional life to public service and civil rights. Bef absolutely. Before serving as our mayor, he had important roles in city government. He served as the executive director of the San Francisco Human Rights Commission, and he worked as an attorney for the Asian Law Caucus, which is a very high profile and important civil rights organization in San Francisco and the Bay Area. Throughout his career, his entire career, Mayor Lee has demonstrated an unwavering commitment to the people of this great city and to our community, and he honors us with his presence here today. Ladies and gentlemen, Mayor Ed Lee. Hello, everybody. All right, good morning. Well, first off, let me uh, thank U.S. Attorney Melinda Haig for that wonderful introduction and for Richard Carranza and Lee Hirsch and it's a number of people working together to help us with this very, very big problem. But the number one thing I want you to know, we care about you. We care about your future, where you're going, and when you get out of school, be in San Francisco, so we're going to have the best jobs in the world waiting for you, every one of you. How about that for San Francisco? All right. Well, let me start out. Let me start out by saying we're here in Herb's Theater. Now, you got to know this is a special place. This is a historic landmark events place in San Francisco. In 1945, the United Nations Charter was signed right here where you're sitting, for the whole world. This is a site where mayors like myself and others for years have addressed the people of San Francisco in the annual State of the City Address. And it's a landmark place, and that's why we chose to be here today with you. 
because we're making a big landmark to be anti-bullying across the country, and we're launching it right here in San Francisco with all of you. That's how important this is. And it's important also uh, that the city family come together. We have quite a number of great stars that I have been very fortunate to work with. Our police department, our fire department are here. Uh, Emily Morase from the Commission on the Status of Women is here. Teresa Sparks, our Director of Human Rights Commission is here. Ed Harrington, our Public Utilities Commission uh, General Manager is here. Our Treasurer and Tax Collector, Jose Cisneros, who's been helping us set up bank accounts all over the city for all of our elementary kids as they join here so that financial literacy can be part of your great success. I've got uh, the medical examiner, Dr. Hart, is here. I've got uh, Adrian Pond, who helps me direct all of the immigrant programs and civic engagement. She's here today to join us. We have my own education advisor, someone on your school board, but someone that guides me every day about your school policy and works with me with Richard Carranza, and that, of course, is Hydra Mendoza. She's here today. We have your back with all of our city programs, and Maria Sue, who helps me coordinate and design all of the youth programs, and say she's here today to join all of us. And I know I'm probably going to miss a few, but I just wanted to name as many as I could remember to let you know that the whole city family is here with you today. Look, you know, bullying. You know, 13 million kids across this country reported being a victim and being harassed in this country. 13 million kids, your age, younger than you as well. You know, there were 3 million kids across this country that left school that decided they're not going to go back because they didn't know how to figure out how not to become a victim. They couldn't seek help. This crisis happening across this country has to stop, and we need your help to do that. In the Bay Area, every county in the Bay Area has reported increases in bullying and harassment for their kids. In San Francisco, in the last two years, 44% of our kids have reported harassment in their schools. So that's why we're here today, and we're here also not just to understand how this is affecting us, how it's making kids and families not want to go to school. It's stunting the emotional and, and the, uh, uh, the growth of our kids. It's leading to a bad epidemic, and that's why our U.S. attorney is here to signal that she's going to work really hard with us to make this a national effort to stop it. And I'm so thankful for Lee Hirsch and his sacrifice to take a look at five families across this country and document their lives and what they've been trying to do and to express the impact it has on us because we're being called to action. We're being called to do something about this epidemic. And I know you and San Franciscans, I don't care how young you are, I don't care you're, you know, what, what age or what grade you are, the best thing I know about San Francisco, no matter where you come from, is we appreciate each other where we come from. We appreciate our diversity. Our diversity is our strength. The more different we are in backgrounds and come from, that makes San Francisco fantastic. You know that and I know that. That's why we love uh, our city. That's why we want to work here and live here and raise our families here as well because this diversity is our strength. Don't let anybody bully you. Don't make and allow them to say that your differences are our weaknesses. That's not true. We learned that from just even both of our uh, presidential campaign conventions. We all talked about the need to diversify uh, the leadership in our country. So I want you to know that. There is some good examples of what we're doing about it. I want to single out uh, amongst all of you Rooftop Elementary School, K through 8. They're starting a program. They've started already. It's called the Bully Ambassador Program, where every week some 50 students meet together and they talk about on the campus what they can do to stop bullying, how they can teach uh, other kids how to stop it, how they can help victims and people who feel that they're on the edge, not only in the classroom, but in the playgrounds and even off the campuses. 
they're taking action. We're going to have more of these ideas uh, to work with you, but today we're part of a one million kid launch all across the country. We're getting a million kids involved in this, and you're part of that first effort. You're seeing this film. There's 122 other cities across the country that are seeing this film. This film on launch day today is going to touch 127,000 kids. It's going to have 7,500 teachers involved in this effort for the, for the One Million Kid Initiative. You are part of the 800 kids in San Francisco that's going to help us start a great effort to stop bullying. So I want to give a shout out today to many of you who are proud of the schools that you're in. Let me begin. Francisco Middle School, they're in the house. All right. Marina Middle School, thank you for being here. George Washington High School, thank you for you being here. Roosevelt Middle School, where's Roosevelt? Balboa High School, yeah. Civic Center Secondary School. Wallenberg High School, come on Wallenberg. The PCC Big Picture. Mission High and Philip and Sally Burton. Thank you everybody for being here. I know you're going to help us stop because guess what? You are too legit to quit. Thank you very much. All right, how about a round of applause for our mayor? Talk about too legit to quit. Okay, so let's get, let's get it let's get real. Let's let's get ready to watch this movie. We're glad that you're here. But let me tell you a little bit about this documentary. It's a documentary about a number of children in schools throughout our country. And you know, we see a lot of things on TV, a lot of fake reality shows. You've all seen them. Where people are paid to be angry or they're paid to fight or they're paid to say really hurtful things to each other. This film is not one of those. This is real. The students featured in the film are actual students just like you, and they're targets of verbal and even physical harassment. In some cases, it might be uncomfortable. In other cases, it might be painful for us to watch what we're about to watch. In some cases, the results of bullying leads to tragic consequences. So this is what we're going to ask you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're going to ask of you today. I want you to remember and think about your fellow audience members because I know what it's like when you watch something that's uncomfortable. Sometimes you might laugh or you might shout inappropriate things. I'd like to ask that you be respectful to the rest of us who are watching this movie with you. We will have some time to discuss it when we return to our school sites, but more importantly, we hope that by seeing this movie together, we're going to dedicate ourselves to ending bullying in our classrooms, in our hallways, in our lunchrooms, and in our schoolyards. And as hard as, it, as hard as it is to watch this film, I think that we can learn a lot from this as well. There is a reason why the t-shirts that many of you receive today have a big slash through the word bullying. It's because we're committing ourselves today to be anti-bullying. We're not going to participate in it, and we're not going to let others do it. And I'll tell you, as I watched this movie just a few short weeks ago, it made me think back to the time in my life where I was bullied. As you can tell, I'm not the tallest guy in the world. As you can tell, I'm not the thinnest guy in the world. And I still remember in school some of the things that people said to me. But that wasn't the worst part of what I remembered. You know what the worst part that I remembered was? Times where I probably bullied other kids and said things to kids that were hurtful, said, said things to other people that might have been very hurtful. So I'm committing, and I'm asking you to commit, to be no to bullying. Whether you participate in it or whether you're the victim of it, we're against bullying, and that's why you're here. So you've heard from a lot of us. I think it would, it's only fitting that you get to hear from the, the creator of this movie, the director of the movie, Lee Hirsch. And I want you to know, folks, that across the country, there are all of these students that are going to see this film, but there are very few, th there's only one group of students anywhere in the United States that's going to view this film today with the director, producer of the film, and that's all of you. 
So would you please welcome with a big round of applause the director, the creator, the genius behind Bully, Lee Hirsch. Thank you. Thank you, Superintendent Cardoza. Wow, it's so awesome to see all you guys. Really, you are like the most beautiful audience I could ever imagine in the whole world. Straight up, give yourself a hand. Um, I'm going to try and say a couple things that I hope will be um, helpful for the viewing of the film. I do want to thank Mayor Lee. Your being here sends a very important message. Thank you so much for doing that, taking the time um, to establish that bullying matters and that this issue matters. Um, when we show up, it says something, right? When the issue shows up, it says something. The fact that you guys are here, that you're here at a school for this event, that really says something. So for everyone that made that choice, all the folks from the schools, um, there's a gentleman named Kevin Truitt who actually got all of you out of school, who made all the logistics work. Um, I want to thank U.S. Attorney Melinda Haig. I want to thank our moderator, Cheryl Jennings. Um, Assistant U.S. Attorney Anne Marie Conroy, who worked really hard to pull this event together, and you know everyone else. You know things like this don't just fall out of the air. Um, I want to thank Mayor Lee for coming up with "Too Legit to Quit," which I haven't heard in 20 years. Right? <laughs> How awesome was that? Um, but right on the money. So, look, here's the thing. I made this movie uh, because I spent all of my base, you know, elementary and middle school years being a punching bag. Uh, my parents were like 20 years older than other kids' parents. My pants were always like you know, four, four inches too high. My hair was always parted to the side when all the other kids' hair was you know, way cooler. Um, and my father and my mother were older and so they couldn't connect to the things that I was going through. They weren't bad parents, but like when I was getting beat up and didn't know what to do and I tried to talk to my dad, my dad who'd fought in World War II would just say, toughen up, you know, don't be such a pussy basically is what he said to me. <laughs> and, and it's, and you, and, and, and it's it, it sounds funny, but when you're the kid that's dealing with that and you feel like you don't have anywhere to turn, it's really, really hard. And what happened is the takeaway is that I couldn't tell anyone anymore what was happening. I didn't feel like what I was experiencing had value. I didn't think that anyone would care about the fact that my arms weren't black and blue from punches. They were yellow from like here to here and it never went away. So I think we are, you are, everybody in this room has this extraordinary opportunity to be at the forefront of changing how this whole country, how we deal with this issue. If you think about it, some of you might be going, well, you know, I don't get bullied. Or, you know, maybe sometimes I get involved and, you know, is it really such a big deal? Um, in our lives, unless we come from a home where, where, where you're getting, where you're the victim of domestic abuse, it's where all of you, all of us, meet violence for the first time, right? verbal, mental, physical, really cruel stuff. And we have to stand in the face of it and choose who we're going to be when we see that. I hope if this film does anything, it inspires you, it connects you to the idea of how powerful you can be to break that cycle of violence each and every time you see it. And afterwards, we're going to talk about like some strategies and ways of doing that because there's not like one perfect answer. And you might try something, and it could backfire. And then, what do you? How do you re-strategize? You know. But what I will say is, as clever and as smart as you think bullies might be, you guys will outsmart them any day, any day, right? So you have to own that. Um, and that's what being an upstander is all about. And it's not just the students. The adults, your teachers, your administrators have to be in it with you. You're just as responsible, if not more. You have to stand by them side by side.
by side. So when they come to you, they have that faith in you that you're going to deliver, that you're going to have their backs. Um, when you say you're going to help take care of something, that you're going to follow through. You'll see that mirrored in the film. I guess to close, because I want to get the movie started, um, you know, this for me, honestly, like having come from that kid that used to get picked on and bullied and didn't have a lot of self-esteem, to come here today to see the buses pulling up in front of the theater, to see the mayor, all these wonderful dignitaries, to see all of you guys is just a dream come true. And I am so excited about what the spark out of tonight can really be, or today, this morning, right? So the last thing is, I just want to say, if there are people in this room, and I guarantee you there are, that have felt that they've been bullied, that you're being bullied right now, you're struggling with issues, I just want you to know that I made this film for you. Okay? This movie is for you. Guys, lastly, as you feel the movie, there's places to laugh. I think I, there's places to cheer towards the end. But, but do be respectful um, of the kids in the film and what they're going through. Um, and then within that, just if you can agree to do that, then have a great time watching it and let all of your emotions roar. Thank you so much. All right.